Welcome back here to the Mackey Motors post game show. Jeff Blankman talking right now with Ellick Collison from the Carroll Tigers as they sweep Dennis and Schleswig to advance into the regional final here tonight. Ella, Jeff Holland, and I would help me with the broadcast. We were talking in the pregame. We knew your arm earlier this year was a little bit tired. You got a little bit of a rest. Wow, were you snapping things off tonight. Uh, talk about how you were feeling, especially early, and what you were seeing in that first set. Well, we kind of saw, we knew going in that they were going to have a decent block, so we were trying to hit around it. Just and I got blocked a few times, but we knew when there wasn't a block up there, we just had to hit it right down, or we needed a tool or something. We just knew that going into this, we need to hit the ball because they're going to take advantage of our tips. And especially now, going into Sergeant Bluff, we know we got to hit the ball as hard as we can. So I think we're all ready for it. Was it hard to keep swinging when they were blocking you earlier, or was that mindset just said, I got to swing? I mean, yes, obviously it gets to you a little <laughs> bit, but we knew like if we're just gonna, if we're going to get scared of the block, then we're not going to win. So I think that's now a mindset that coaches put into our brain, like you just got to keep swinging. It doesn't matter if you get blocks. They're going to be, Hannah's going to be there to cover me. Laura's going to cover me. Like, it's going to be fine, so. And, and you guys tonight, they came out kind of aggressive. You were getting blocks on them. They got less aggressive yeah. right away. When did you feel like you guys started to adjust to their tip and push game? I feel like a little after the first set, kind of, we kind of started noticing it because we get hit with that donut shot. And we just kept, and Coach even texted us. She's like, oh, you guys are getting killed in this spot. So we knew that Josie and I need to pull over and take that tip. Or if we knew they were going to tip, kind of just take off and just have the block get the tip. And then we knew, we knew they were getting scared. So we're like, now we're just going to pound the ball back at you. 33-31, you win the first oh, set. Gosh, yeah. How, what's it like in a, in a set like that that just keeps going back and I forth? I mean, we haven't had one of those sets. I don't think I've I've ever had one of those sets <laughs> myself. So we knew that we're, we didn't get this far to lose this set, so we just got to keep pushing. And when we would, they would get ahead or we tie, we just knew we had to come back harder. So Did you realize in set two maybe that there was a little blood in the water and then you had them maybe down a little bit the way you guys dominated that second set? Yes, you could tell that they were getting frustrated on their side. And when team gets frustrated, they start tipping or they start, you can hear them yelling on the other side. Like we just knew we had to take advantage of that and we kept talking and we just pushed through. So Got up 24-21 in that third set. And the next thing you no, it was tied. What happened there? Yeah, I think we kind of got a little comfortable and we're like, oh, we got this next point, but that's something we can't do. And but I mean, we took care of business and we won. So Sergeant Bluff Luton coming up now Tuesday night. You guys saw him last year. Different team for them this year. Yeah. You guys are a different yeah, team. Sure. Talk about mentally. What's the, what's kind of the thought process going into that matchup? I mean, I think ever since last year, I think all of us seniors who ever played last year, we want them again. We want to we want to show that we can get to state this year. I think I mean, this is our seniors last go and it's the last ride. So we might as well do it now. So I think we're all really ready and we're ready to hit the gym and get ready for them. Well, I tell you what, great job tonight. Get a little ice on that yeah. shoulder here tonight. Keep that arm so you can swing again yeah, on Tuesday. Sure. You bet. Ella Thank Collison you. joining Thank us you. here. We're going to get uh, Laura Sweeney now to jump in. And Laura, a terrific job tonight. You had so many hitters swinging so well tonight. I think I had you for 45 assists unofficially tonight. But what's it like when, when you get Ella swinging like she was early? She was thundering the ball. Josie came on. Kenny Deline maybe swung more tonight than we've seen her, and she runs that slide so well. So what's that like, and how fun was that tonight? It's super fun. I mean, I know my, if I get my headers to the ball, they're going to hit. So the fact that I can trust them, like, it makes the game really easy. And especially when I can utilize all three of my players, my outside, my middle, and my right side. I mean, I could do that tonight. So, I mean, that makes it a completely different game. What was the conversation like between you and your hitters throughout this match tonight? And then how much input were you guys getting from the back row on what the defense was doing? Um, yeah, so I was talking to my hitters out through the entire time. I my setting, I felt like struggled a little bit tonight. Um, I just kept telling them I had to get the outsides off of the net, and I just could not seem to do that. Um, so that's why like half the blocks came in. Um, I also just have been working with the middles and getting it a little higher, a little quicker. Um, and then um, our back row, they just kept, I don't know, they just kept talking about us. Hannah told me a lot, just keep it off the net, you know, keep it. And we also noticed we had to like do a really fast pace tempo too, especially with the outsides, because they were getting there. How fun is it for you guys to run that faster tempo, especially now here late in the season where I think you've all gotten comfortable with it? It's super fun, way more fun than having a slow rise ball. I mean, when Josie or Ella, if I give them a four and they nail it down, I mean, it's a, they're a Laura, you've been a libero up until this last year here. Now as a senior, you took the setter role because it was needed, but you still are all over the floor, diving all over the place. Talk about the hustle. I said something on the air tonight. I've seen a lot of volleyball, especially this season. This team hustles and goes after things. There's no quit on any ball for this team. No, we, every single like time we come into a game, we're like, be scrappy. Like being scrappy is one of our biggest things. And I mean, we're all really quick. I mean, there's none of, there's not a single one of us are, on the court that are slow. So, I mean, we try to get to every single ball that we can, no matter where it's on the court. 
Ella just said here a moment ago, all you seniors, you, you wanted another shot at Sergeant Bluff. You're going to get that now on Tuesday night. What are you thinking? What's got to be done for the outcome to be different than it was last year? Yeah, I feel like um, we've got to step it up from um, how we played tonight. Um, but I'm really excited just because I think we have a little more edges here. Um, I mean, us seniors saw them last year. So like Ella said, we're really excited to see them again. And I think if we play our game and, you know, we minimize our errors and we just I don't know. I think they're very. I think they're beatable. They're a really good team, but I'm excited to face them again. Well, I tell you what. Good luck up there. Great job tonight. As always, appreciate you joining us. Thank you. You've got Laura Sweeney joining us. We're going to get uh, Caitlin Kaufman joining us now. As uh, Caitlin filling in tonight uh, as the head coach for the yes. Carroll Tigers. Uh, what was this experience like for you? Hi. I mean, I've uh, been a assistant varsity coach for a couple of years at my previous school for Carroll. So this um, was nothing new, but such a wonderful opportunity. And I'm really glad that I was promoted for a night. Um, but we'll have Molly back on Tuesday, and we're super excited for that. Oh, and what a fun match oh, to, to be able to, to, to be a, that coach willing around and being able to stand up. 33-31 win in that first set. Have you been a part of anything like that before? Uh, I know. I told the girls I've never played a match to 33 <laughs> points before. I never want to play a match to 33 <laughs> points again. But I, that was done out of our system. Our second set went so much more smoother and definitely what we needed. And we pulled out with the win in that third one. What do you think was the difference in that first set that helped you get the win with that one seesawing back and forth? I remember right, 17 ties, I think, is what I had in seven lead changes. Sure. Um, they established our pins early, so we knew that we had to mix it up, use our middles, use our right sides, and looking at the stat sheet, too, like, oh, my gosh, Ella and Josie, they've got 14, 15 kills out there. And then Kennedy pushed up and got uh, 11 kills, and Lexi's got six. And, I mean, we needed to uh, use our routes and mix it all up, and that was the game changer for us. Not a ton of aces, but that doesn't matter. I thought your serve tonight kind of got them out of rhythm and out of system a lot. Yes. What did you see from the serve tonight? Um, we at first we weren't serving like we were serving aggressive, but we were serving at them. Mm -hmm. and we really need to push that, get in between them, push line. We got line a couple times there, which were really close calls. But the more aggressive, the more you make a move, aim for their head, then we were good to go. Get them out of system as much as possible. As you mentioned, you kind of dominated that second set. I got kind of yelled at by Jeff and by Coach Molly late in that third set, up 24-20. When it actually, I think it was 23-20 at the time. And yeah. I was, they didn't let me finish my comment, but it did turn and Dennison came back. What did you say to the girls during that timeout that kind of flipped that switch back? Pick up the communication, ask uh, Laura, our, main, our setter, and like, what's her play? She listed out, we hammered it down, game over. You get a couple of days now to get ready for Sergeant Bluff. What do you guys do? How do you work on things between now and then? Uh, so receive, definitely, and then just continue um, game plan, like game day as always. Practice our hits, our outside middles, our right, switch it up as much as possible. Uh, deep serve aggressive. Ball control is huge. If you have ball control, you're full. Well, I tell you what, great job tonight. Congratulations on the win. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. You bet. Caitlin Kaufman again, the head coach tonight for the Carroll Tigers as they win 3 to nothing again against Dennison Schleswig.